Hi, I'm Dylan Smith, the Facility and Lands Coordinator for the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. We had a successful day on Southern Lake Champlain today chasing white crappies, and I'm going to take you through the steps today to process your own catch. So I'm going to start off with just a straight blade. This is a, a fairly flexible fillet knife, and I have a, a crappie right here. When I'm processing fish, I like to make my first cut right behind the head, and I like to actually angle it towards its mouth so I'm maximizing the meat that's up here above the gills. So my first cut is at a, an angle forward, and I go right down until I hit the spine. Once I hit that spine, I start to work my knife sideways, and I personally like to start working along the backbone, and then once I get to about the back of the dorsal fin, I'll work the, the bottom of the knife down around towards the anal vent. So as I get to the back of the fin, I start to push my, the back of my knife forward, and I, I walk it right down and I'm ticking the spine the whole way. And if I catch the spine a little bit, I just flake my knife up. And I like to stop right before I hit the tail so that the fish, the, the fillet stays attached and I'm able to use the carcass as a handle. From here, I take my knife and I cut down to the skin and it's the same process. And I'm just working my, my knife forward to get that fillet off of the skin. And what you have there is a fillet, and the only bones that are left are right there, the belly bones. So then I'll take my knife, and uh, I'll just work to, to scoop those out. And I, I cut straight down through until I hit the cutting board. And then the fillet's off there. Take it off. There's a little piece of belly meat on there. And basically, in 30 seconds, you can have a boneless fillet. So that's a pretty quick process. I take those fish when they're done and I throw them in ice cold water so that they stay cool and you know they continue to be cold, especially on a warm day like this. And I can flip that fish right over and do the same exact process for the other side. Same thing, I make that cut down until I hit the spine, turn my knife, and I'm just I'm pushing through. Hit the back of the dorsal, walk the bottom of the knife around, and I work right down to the tail. Same thing, flip it off. And I'm just going to work my way right down the skin until I have that fish off of the skin. And that, that's really all that process is. It's, it's pretty quick and easy. And again, you scoop that fillet out, take your rib bones out, and you can throw that fillet right into cold water. So the whole process can take you less than a minute per fish. Uh, once you get in a groove, you can, you can zip through a limit of fish in no time. Another, another way that people like to fillet fish is, uh, let's grab another one here, is they'll take the fish and just so you're not cutting through the rib bones and hitting any internal organs, they'll make that first cut and then they'll take the tip of their knife and they'll walk it right down the spine, just staying just below the surface. And then they'll actually take their blade and they're gonna work it towards the spine until they hit those rib bones. And uh, I'll continue this cut down to the belly. And it's really just a process of taking it off of the top of those rib bones and then poking your knife out through the bottom. And you can fillet right to the tail like you did before. And you're, you're saving just a touch more meat. You're staying away from the organs this way. And it's just a matter of, you know, you can pull the, the meat off more or less. And once you hit that belly, you save that little piece of belly meat that's there. And you have a little bit cleaner fillet. And you don't have to scoop out those belly bones. All right, so I showed you two methods on how to fillet fish using a straight blade. But now I'm going to show you how I typically fillet my fish when I have more than one or two. Um, I'm going to use an electric fillet knife. It's the same process. I am going to cut through the, the belly bones again. Um, it's just a much quicker method and I, I find myself doing a better job. Um, these knives are pretty affordable. Uh, I for years clean my fish with like a, an electric turkey carver. So you don't need something fancy. Um, you can get them for 10 or 15 bucks if you, if you look around. So we're gonna jump right into this one. All right, same process. Cut right here behind the, the head. Turn your knife sideways. Walk it down the spine. Work the belly. You walk it right up the, the spine. All 
So I'm gonna just take the other side off while I'm working on it. Same process. Take these right out with the belly bones. One boneless fillet. Same process here. And that's all it takes to fillet a fish.